tell her how to solve this exponential problem. This is 3 power t power 3 divided by 9 power t equals 81. Solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. So let's make sure all the bases are the same. The base here is 3, here is 9, here is 81. So I can simply have this as 3 power t power 3 divided by 9 is simply 3 power 2. And this is raised to the power of t equals 81 is simply 3 power 4. So from here, if you have a power x power y equals a power x times y, so we multiply this exponent, I'll have 3 power t power 3 divided by 3 power 2 times t, that is 2t equals 3 power 4. Now there is 3 here, there is 3 here. Let's consider this other identity. If you have a power n divided by a power n equals a power n minus m. Applying this right here, I will simply have 3 power t power 3 minus 2t equals 3 power 4. Now, if you have a power x equals a power y, the pieces are the same. You compare the exponent, that means you have t power 3 minus 2t equals 4. To, so to solve this equation, I need to move this over here. Dark t power 3 minus 2t minus 4 equals 0. Now, this is a cubic equation. So let's check if there is any value of t that will satisfy this equation. We are going to do testing. So we are going to start with when t equals 1. We substitute 1 here. That means this will be 1 power 3 minus 2 times 1 minus 4. This will, will give you what? 1 power 3 is 1. Let me write it here again. 1, this is minus 2, minus 4. And this will give you what? 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4, that is negative 5. So this is negative 5, and this also is negative 5. And this is not zero because it needs to give us zero. That means it's not a solution. So let's consider when t equals two. That means we need to bring back this equation, which is t power three minus two t minus four equals zero. And our t is two now. That means we have two power three minus two times two minus four. Will this give us zero? So 2 power 3, that is 8, minus 4, minus 4, will this give us 0? 8 minus 4, that is 4 minus 4, it is 0, yes, 0 equals 0. That means t equals 2 is one of the solutions. So what we are going to do again will be to simply write out this particular solution. We have t equals 2. That means I can have it as t minus 2 equals 0, right? By moving this over here. So, to find the other values for t, I need to divide this by this t minus 2. Have you seen that? So we have t power 3 minus 2 t minus 4 divided by t minus 2 to find the other vectors of t. So, what we are going to do right now will be to make use of either long diffusion method or synthetic method. But in this video, we make use of synthetic method. So, in synthetic method, we are going to write this in full. t power 3 minus 2t minus 4 is the same thing as writing t power 3 plus 0 times t power 2, because there's no t power 2, that's why I'm, I'm 
writing the equation k is zero minus two t minus four. That is the full form of this. So let's write out the equation. Remember the equation here is one. All these are the coefficients. So you write out the equation which are one, zero, negative two, then negative four. Now this is what we call the synthetic method. Now, at the outside here, if you notice, we have t minus 2 here. It's t minus 2. All you need to do is to equate it to 0. You have t minus 2 equals 0 and t equals 2. So you write the 2 here. So what you are going to do is you simply bring down this one here. So you have 2 times 1, that is 2, right? So you add again, you have 2, 2 times 2, that is 4. You add again, negative 2 plus 4, that is 2. 2 times 2, you have 4. All you need to do, you add again, negative 4 plus 4, that is 0. So this will give you the coefficients for the other solution or the other factor. That means, and since here we are having t power 3, 3 as the highest exponent, we will start reducing the exponent by 1. So we have t power 2, and the coefficient here is 1, plus 2t plus 2. So this becomes the other factor. Remember, we still have one other factor again, which is this other one here, which is t minus 2, from the solution that we had earlier. You have t minus 2 equals 0. So if you multiply this out, you will definitely get back this particular equation here. You get back this. You multiply this out. So the next step we are going to take will be to solve these different equations. Remember, this one is solved already. t minus 2 equals 0. And also we have this bit plus 2t plus 2 equals 0. If t minus 2 equals 0, that means t equals 2. We take this over here. That is our t1. Now, to solve this, we need use of the formula method. So, we write the formula in respect to t. The formula is of t equals negative p plus or minus square root of e squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times e. So from here we have a equals 1, which is the coefficient of t squared. b equals 2, which is the constant here. Or the coefficient there, c equals 2, which is the constant here. So from here, what you are going to do is you have your t equals this is negative 2 plus or minus square root of t squared to power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 2 divided by 2 times e raised to times 1. So from here, of t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 8 divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is negative 4 divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 divided by 2. So right now, we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i times square root of 4, that is 2, divided by 2. So we cancel out. We have t equals negative 1 plus or minus i. So we have two other complex values for t. That would be t2 equals negative 1 plus i. And from here, we have t3 equals negative 1 minus i. So these are the two complex values for t. We also have one real value for t, which is t equals 2. You can decide to check by inserting this particular value back into the equation. So let's verify. You have 3 over t power 3 divided by 9 over t equals 81. And our t equals 2. So you substitute this for t. You have 3 power 2 
power 3 equal to 39 power 2 equals 81. So from here, you consider 2 power 3 times 8, plus 2 to power 8, divided by 9 power 2 equals 81. 9 is the perfect square, which is 3 power 2. You have 3 power 8 divided by 3 power 2 times 9, which 3 power 2 equals 81. If you have 8 power x or power y, equals 8 power x times y. So you multiply this out, that is 4. You have 3 power 8 divided by 3 power 4 equals 81. Now remember, if you have 8 power x divided by 8 power y equals 8 power x minus y. So that means we are simply going to have 3 power 8 minus 4 equals 81. And from here, you have 3 power 8 minus 4. That is 4 equals this, 81. And 3 power 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 81. This is 9, this is 27, is 81. So from here, we have 81 equals 81. So ladies and gentlemen, this solution is obviously correct. This is how you solve for this exponential problem. Thank you and goodbye.